far as precipitation is concerned. Yeah, it's been quite a kickoff to the winter season yeah. for uh, New England with more snow falling up to the north of us, but around here, rain. I'll take uh, that. Sure. Let's take a look at our conditions outside right now. And it is a dreary morning in Newport with the rain falling up through Providence, too. You can still see people traveling over the highway, keeping their wipers and their lights on. And here's the reason why Doppler radar showing those scattered rain showers up and down 195 and 295 this morning. And we're seeing rain all the way up into Boston. You're not going to get into snow until you travel uh, much further north. So up through and north of the Mass Pike into southern Vermont, New Hampshire and coastal Maine. That trip up 95 going to be slow going this morning as the snow continues to work through. Now notice down through New York City showers still developing and these have to work way through so the majority of the morning is going to be rainy for us but I don't expect any severe weather or huge travel issues Wednesday's threat tracker We'll keep it in the green. Just a heads up for Wednesday. There's a small window of time where we could get a brief snow squall as an Arctic front comes through. I'm thinking around the time of the evening commute, so 5 p.m. to 8 p.m., and that could cause some slippery travel. It's very go going to be very random and isolated, so many of us won't see anything. We'll talk more about it, but record cold follows for Thursday. Wind's going to add to that chilly feel, keeping our wind chills close to zero. Outside right now, our temperatures are on either side of 40. Providence at 39, 43 in New Bedford. Willimantic at 37 degrees and Boston this morning is running in the upper 30s. Notice Worcester though down to around the freezing mark. So rain for us off and on throughout the morning. It starts to wind down in the afternoon. We're drier during the evening commute. Here's our area of low pressure right now. That's got to work its way eastward with snow up to the north. Let's take a look at the forecast. Snowfall totals around here. We're not expecting any accumulating snow, but you get into uh, the areas north of the Mass Pike up through uh, southern Vermont, New Hampshire, three to six inches of snow expected. So that certainly could cause some trouble. This is at noon today. Notice the shower is still ongoing. Boston down through Providence and Cape Cod, and we'll see some lingering snow showers right across eastern Massachusetts. Snow and rain showers during the early evening hours. Tomorrow, heading into the night and into tomorrow morning, we're back under dry conditions. 8 a.m., no issues for you, even into the early afternoon if you're hitting the roads after school. But watch what happens in the evening. Six o'clock, there's that snow squall I mentioned. Now they're fast moving, but they can cause some issues for traveling. Four o'clock uh, this afternoon, we're tracking that Arctic cold front. Now the view here, this is the Western Great Lakes, uh, the central part of Canada, that cold air going to make its way eastward. And so by Thursday morning, it's arrived, along with your relatives maybe. Here's the wind chill Thursday. Temperature is going to be feeling like they're close to zero throughout the day. This is one in the afternoon. Wind chills staying in the single digits. So a frigid Thursday for us. High temperatures make it to 21. The record coldest Thanksgiving that we've had, 30 for the high temperature. So we smash that. Friday's high near 33. And shopping local Saturday, much more comfortable upper 40s with increasing clouds. There is rain in the forecast for Sunday. You have the full forecast on.